Hello everyone, my name is Wawa and I am back and this time I will be casting the round number 9 of the Wawa Quick Attorney hosted by Wawa Starcraft and PinoyStarcraft.com so this is gonna be semi-finals A, it is gonna be between Heaton and Basa and it's gonna be game number 1 we are gonna start this in 3, 2, 1 and go we have here Basa spawning as the orange Protoss at the top right position of the map and we have Heaton here spawning as the purple Zerg at the bottom left position of the map so we are gonna do this right here at Zelnar Cavern so Zeb Zerg versus Protoss very very entertaining matchup here especially in this map because you usually see a lot of pushes here from both sides actually but then again we can't really uh, uh, we can't really expect any harassments from Heaton because he is a very very heavy macro oriented player and look, look, looks like there was just a little bit of chatter here from both players so that's always good uh, friendly competitive competitiveness is always always good and always always accepted mm, they're all talking about architect uh, I don't know some build I'm not really sure so yes yeah, Zerg versus Protoss usually we see a 4 gate here from Protoss as because what what kind of Protoss won't make a 4 gate? That's the basic way to get to Masters actually. But a lot of people have it saying that's the easiest way to get Masters. 4 gate, 5 gate, 6 gate, whatever works. Well, ev almost everything works. As we are going to see this probe right here going to be transitioning to the base of Basa. He's going to be reaching it finally. Also the other side, he is also having his probe reach to the base of Heaton here. And he's going to see that Heaton is not going to go for an early expansion. He's just going to go for the safety opening which is the extractor to the spawn with a spawning pool opening which is very very safe indeed so we do have a gateway going down right here for boss as well gonna be right there at the front door I'm pretty sure he's gonna make a cybernet going right next to that or maybe he's gonna go for a double gateway opening not sure not quite because we do have an assimilator here right now being completed already for Basa so that's not gonna be likely So yes, let me give you guys a little bit of background from both players. He then his he has been so consistent or always consistent in my quick attorneys. He has joined f six, I think, and out of five or out of six, he has reached the semifinals five times in a row. So yeah, maybe this is this lucky time. Maybe his, this time he will make it to the finals, and I think he deserves it because I don't know. Maybe he's just so unlucky with with the past few results. But anyway, we are here at round number nine, and we might see a little bit of difference here for the results and a little bit of background info as well for Basa. He's from Clan XFG, Extreme Filipino Gamers, and yeah, he's not really from uh, well known right now. But then again, he's starting to get well known. As he, this is I think his third time joining one of my quick attorneys, and this is the farthest I think he has gone. Because a couple of times he has joined, he was knocked out on the first round. So yeah, I think he was he fa he faced up against Heaton in the first round. I think that's why he got knocked up. So yeah, pretty much understandable. And here we go. We have an expansion here going down for Heaton. Twenty one hatchery, very very normal opening right here for a Zerg player. And then I'm pretty sure there's going to be a push coming out of here. For the base of Basa, we uh, we do have a second gateway on the way right now, and a Stargate. Ooh, wow! I'm pretty surprised here. He's not really gonna go for the safest four gate build. Instead, he's gonna go for something a little bit cheesier or a little bit more unique, as he is gonna get the Stargate and then a Palon. So yeah, he might go for some Void Rays, maybe some Phoenixes as well. And here we're gonna see two Zergnes are just gonna scout the lower ground. He can't really see anything up there. But yeah, look at this unique. Unique wall off right here, putting the zealot right in the middle and a stalker as well to completely seal that off. So yeah, very very weird or very very unique opening right here for Basa. So finally the hatchery is done for Heaton right here hit on his natural. Also a queen right there already, so very very nicely done. Is this an artillery hatchery? Yes indeed, he is making an artillery hatchery. Maybe he's gonna go for a little bit of early push very very soon. I'm not sure, but then again he is gonna have a lot of money after or once this uh, expansion gets, uh, what do you call that, gets fully saturated. 
that's going to be very, very impressive indeed. And here we go. We can see Basa is experiencing a little bit of lag. Good thing this is a replay and we're not really experiencing the same thing. As more units are being warped in right here for Basa. So he's just a, a little bit bluffing right now. He's just showing off those sentries and stalkers which are pretty much gas heavy. But then again, he is making void rays. So that's going to be a good bluff right there. So weird. And he then says he's saying sorry, but then I guess he's gonna lose his overload right there. Oh, wow, that's not nice. But then again, that must have been a sacrificial overload. I don't think he saw this this stargate right here though. Let's see, let's see. No, he didn't see anything right here in this area. So yeah, that's not a good thing. That is not a good thing at all. Then again, he's just churning out more and more zerglings, so that's not that's not ideal because right now there are some void rays on the field. Where's the first one? Yes, indeed, first one is already traversing the field to the top left, and yes, indeed, I am casting. Excuse me, let me just put myself into busy mode. There you go. Sorry, Mr. Basa, must be watching. I just say I want to say hi. So he's just making two spine crawlers right now very very impressive as well so here we go two hatcheries already out in the base or the main base at least and a third one as well and what is this an evolution chamber finally going up for an evolution chamber did you see that void ray where's that void ray where did that void ray go that void ray hmm wow I completely completely wow where did that void ray go? Oh, it's still there. He only made one void ray. Wow, that is so so not <laughs> that's so not well used right there. The stargate is not full use, but then finally he is making the phoenix right now. So finally making use of that stargate once more. So you, you don't want to you do that. You don't want to make one unit out of that building that you spend like 150 and 150 to make and then just make one unit out of it that's not that's not a proper way of using that building needs cons consistent production out of that building like a like a gateway or like a hatchery or like a barracks you know you, you need to make constant production out of that to make the most out of it but then again Basa is gonna go for an expansion of himself as well the fifth warp gate has been gone oh the third warp gate is down already and here we go hidden is finally spotted this stalker there, there so he was correct he needed that evolution chamber maybe not for the expansion or maybe not for spark crawlers though <laughs> oh look at this he chose to he chose to get the layer for his natural for the, his artillery hatchery so he is gonna go for a hydro then as well so finally that is a very very good counter to this army composition right here right now that Basa has both players just really really playing macro oriented right now income tab real quick we do have 63 over 61 Harvester count 32 over 37. So right now hidden is pretty much in the lead in both areas. Then again, phoenixes are right here, gonna be doing a little bit of harassment. And that one already almost dying. He hasn't really killed anything at all. Oh, good creep spread right here by hidden. Is he gonna be able to take this phoenix down? Is he gonna be able to? No, he's not gonna be able to take that phoenix down. Wow! Finally, the Zergnis coming in. They can not really reach that high. They can jump if they if their life depended on it. And here we go. We have a hatchery going down right here for the gold expansion for Heaton. So that is going to be his fourth hatchery, a third base expansion. So this is going to be huge. This is going to be really, really boosting up his economy right now. Production tab real quick. Groove spines being researched for those hydrolis. And six hydrolis are already out or on the way out already. Twilight Council is being researched on the other side of the field. Maybe he's gonna go for some blink stalkers. He does have a lot of stalkers on the field. Well, not really a lot. He does have so many <laughs> sentries on the field. That is not even funny because maybe because he saw all of these zerglings. He got kind of freaked out that he made a lot of sentries. But then again, I don't know. It might work. It might not work. And we do have Galil Constitution right there being researched for Heaton. So that's going to really, really increase up the speed for those roaches. I'm going to help him out as this game progresses. And here we go. This phoenix is still alive. Going to be seeing everything and everything that's happening in the base of Heaton. But then again, who is not going to sacrifice that? Not really willing to. But then again, he doesn't really need to say anything. I'm pretty sure he already saw those hydrolis roaming around the field. And finally, this hatchery right here of Heaton has finally gone up by the gold expansion. Very, very nice. That's going to help him out a lot. And increase his lead. Look at that. 103 over 89. Very, very, uh, still very close match right there. But then again, the 10 foot count, that might be all drones. That is bad if it is all drones. 
that means you're really really behind in the economy income tableaus double check that no it's not it's it is arm composition as you can see we have 43 over 41 in favor of Heaton so look at this arm composition right here of Heaton trying to tempt or tempting a, a little bit of push right here maybe we'll see a push maybe not I'm not sure but then I get so many sentries right here all of this army composition of Heaton might go down very very quickly and look at this overlord maybe he's gonna just pu puke up some creep I'm not sure look at this creep spread right here by Heaton very very nice it's not really creeping down here though but maybe he's just waiting to make the hatchery before he starts creeping down and here we go we're gonna see the push right here good spread right here and force fields wow dropping down force fields very very nice and that only some of those roaches are being able to attack the unit composition of Basa and here we go Voyager is doing some terrible terrible damage to the army composition of Heaton Heaton losing everything and everything in his command wow it's always here just roaming around doing nothing not even gacking anything at all and storms landing on all those units right there for Heaton so wow good defense right here by Basa finishing off all those arm composition right there by Heaton I guess those centrists really did do a lot of damage in terms of the outcome of the battle right there because without of those force fields that would have turned out to be the same I'm pretty sure let's look at this ooh miss rallied hydros right there I don't like this at all you need to be pulled back and look at this roaches he's gonna be suicidal right there so he didn't better, better be careful with his rallying and look at this hidden I think he's, this is just gonna be a scout roach as he's gonna see oh look at this Basa was about to push in and look at this another hydro this is gonna get taken down that is not good wow a little bit of miss micro right there by hidden business rallying very very hurtly and look at that harvester wise 54 over 40 55 over 44 still hidden in the lead with a very scary army right here not really a scary army but then again that's big enough to counter off I'm pretty sure this army composition right here then again there's a lot of zealots right there research style will click 127 over 100 so right now hidden is still in the lead very very much in a very big lead because right now Baza only on a two base though compared to the three base soon to be a four base right here for Heaton so Heaton really really conquering this map right now spreading the creep very very nicely almost a consistent spread all over I really really like this play right here for Heaton and it's about time to be Heaton time because it's about to give you like uh, we're already in the mid to the late game stages of the game and this is where he didn't truly shines because he really really likes to play micro and look at this some of the just sending out some units to spot any building right there or nexus is being built and here we go <laughs> those zerglings <laughs> gonna spot uh, army composition of basa and they're just pretty much gonna die as he did also spot that the nexus is about to go down right there find a third natural expansion right here for Baza so Baza not really risk risking for those destructible rocks because I'm pretty sure he is pretty much terrified of the armor composition right here for Heaton doesn't really have any causes at all and here we go the second flash is gonna happen no Heaton is gonna push back gonna lose the roach there not really gonna matter just a little bit though but then again these overlords right here they might go down that might supply Heaton a little bit that might delay him a little bit we'll see we'll see and yes, if Basa just holding his ground right now. As <laughs> Hidden's gonna go to the other side, gonna go for the, the second natural expansion right there. And look at that, the Overlord's gonna pass by there. Gonna see nothing is happening, nothing is there by the base of oh, Basa. And Basa is in big trouble, he's gonna lose this Nexus right here if he doesn't fall back. And here we go, finally, Basa is moving backwards. <laughs> and look at that, Hidden's finally retreating as well. So Basa. Wow, not really good defense right there. You really want to keep uh, some of those units right here by this area because if you're not really gonna push, why why are you gonna threat or push put your units here? Uh, instead, just put your units here to defend and maybe a little bit of threatening as well because they're really really far away from your main base, from your natural base, and from your second as well. Colossuses are out finally for Basa. He does have one. I don't know. He, that's uh, that looks like one. A little bit confused with that Voyager right there being there. So how many gates we have right now for Basa? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Very very scary amount of gateways right there for Basa. Does he have the economy to back that up though? No, he doesn't have that much gas right now anymore. Does have a lot of gas uh, minerals, so he can just 
maybe summon a lot of ro uh, zealots after initial clash, but then again, it is not gonna be good right now. Those are those are accomplishing of hidden. This is very very scary indeed. That's like the mine sweeper or the ground sweeper army composition right there. It's gonna clean up all the ground units right there for hidden. I'm not sure it might turn out well for him, it might not. Here we go, we're gonna see a backdoor attack as well for a hidden and a front door as well. Oh some of those units might go down for hidden. Wow, Hayden is so lucky. He didn't really react to it. And here we go. We're gonna see a clash right here. Finally, those that guy is doing so much damage. Not really being focused fired right now. Storms landing on on those Aegis. Those Aegis is gonna take so much damage from those storms. Feedback going down as well. Wow. Oh my God. So many storms. Those Aegis are going down so fast. And a counter push as well going down to the other side as well. So Basse is in big trouble. There's still enough units right here for Hayden to finish things up. Then again, more stars have been warped in right now. Stalkers can't really do anything at all to the army composition of Hidden right now and Basa says GG Good game, good game So good game right here by Hidden taking game number one off of Basa and we are gonna start game number two in just one second A little bit chatting right here as Basa admitted that he made a little bit of mistakes And yeah And look at it, Hidden just give him a little bit of tip as well on how we can do a little bit better in the next round so yes we're gonna do game number two and come in just one second guys so good game right there by hidden i really like that and very very superb job right there killing off uh, the most a scary ball i think uh for a protoss but then again that could be a little bit more scary it could have been like five gate or a six gate or a six colossus army that would have been horrible so yes here we go boss says uh final gg so good game good game for both players Better game for boss for Hidden. So game number two coming right up. Stay tuned.